So the project at hand is with this jaw crusher. This is a Cedar Rapids 9x20. I'm not really sure what size material it makes, but I have a driveway here that's about a mile long, and rather than buying material, seeing as we're surrounded by rocks, I figured I'd buy something more useful. So the plan is to run these pulleys right here with the back end of a tractor. This is a Ford 8N, and what I have here is a PTO pulley. This goes right on the back. There's your gear right there. This is the old belt I have here that I'll probably end up having to buy a new one. I'm gonna try and repair this maybe. The plan is to, instead of buying steel, I'm going to attempt to cut down some poles and kind of make a frame for this. Uh, I'll probably cut down some oak trees. Probably the hardest wood we have around here. First step here basically is to find some trees, uh, cut up some logs and make some framework. Cutting oaks down for no reason, but it's kind of out here where I'm excavating anyway. I've been clearing this lot, so if I want to clear this and open it up bigger, I'll... these trees all have to go at some point anyway. So, I'm trying to get a base measurement here. This is about 18 inches.
All right, so I got all my logs out of the woods. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two bigger, these two bigger logs here, and those are going to be my main frame. Uh, I'm going to put them, you know, parallel with each other, and I'm going to attempt to put the crusher right in the middle. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these smaller logs here, and I'm going to attempt to use a chainsaw and mill them in half. I don't have an Alaskan mill, but uh, I'm just going to attempt, you know, to cut them kind of like an Alaskan mill would and run them uh, horizontally here and just try and rip them in half. That thing don't start too good when it's cold out. Once it's running, it's good. I need to go get uh, the mini excavator. I'm gonna need two machines for this job. Uh, probably all that both of them got too.
So I've been here kind of off camera, uh, messing around with this, having a hard time getting this to spin. So I've been greasing it up and working it with a pry bar. Six inch, six inch lag in there.
I also got here some 10 inch legs. I'm gonna tie these together. Well, I guess I better pre drill these holes. Broke that bolt right off. Well, I'd say I got about nine and a half inches of a 10 inch lag in there. That is not easy. So you can see here, I got all my other braces on. See, I got two braces there. And two braces over here. Uh, I got smart yesterday and brought the impact out and uh, drove those in that way. And just kind of cranked on them with a socket the rest of the way. Yeah, this framework should be ready to go. Alright, so here's where I'm at with this project. I, uh, I built this framework and I had intentions of moving. Dug that other spot out with the backhoe and wanted to move it. I put the backhoe on, I couldn't move it. At least 12,000 pounds here I'm trying to drag with a mini excavator and the backhoe. I should have built that framework where I wanted it and tried to move the crusher on top of it, but here's what I've done instead. So instead of moving the crusher, I just dug a hole underneath it. Uh, I'm okay with this. This is gonna last me through the summer, so. And I can get a backhoe scoop underneath here. And yeah, I'll fire this thing up and I'll show you how it crushes.
project is uh, done for now. Now that I've been running this a little bit here, um, this tractor is probably a little underpowered for running this. It doesn't start the flywheels up too fast. Won't crush too many rocks at once or too big of rocks. Um, I mean, this thing's pretty big. I don't know what how many horsepower or what it's meant for. I know this tractor makes about 28 at the power takeoff, but it seems to be a little underpowered. I think what I'm going to do is I have plenty of old trucks around here. I might prop one up here and use the rear end, run the truck and run it with a tire because that should give me a lot more torque. That might be what I do next. You can see the material here it makes. I have it as the small as I can get these jaw gaps. I've been messing with this for the past couple of days, trying to get the gap smaller, and I took an inch off of it, but this is about as small as I can get the material, which it's not bad. It's got, you know, I guess two inch minus stuff here. So at some point here, I'd like to make a permanent home for this, but uh, this will probably be good enough for the summer. I don't expect these logs to last forever. But... Uh -huh.